And there's your intro. Do you think I was gonna do something funny? Run around with an X-Acto knife laughing maniacally, making the lights flash, deep frying the camera? Did you like the thumbnail at least? Because that's not clickbait. But I'm gonna be semi-serious for a lot of this. And if you skip through that, something happens in the future and you don't have the context, can't say I didn't warn you. Glasses are going on. This, this didn't mean a bad thing, usually, in the past, but because I've never worn them on my channel, now, whenever I put these on, that's not good. Look at this. I wrote a whole script. I never script my videos, ever. The best thing about them is they were unscripted, but I had to script this in one page because I knew if I didn't, I would just start going off topic and back on and it would be the thickness of an algebra textbook and that wasn't gonna work. All of this, this is four years of what I had to deal with on one page and I'm admitting that I'm reading a script because I know that if I put it up here like Joe Biden reading a teleprompter, that's not gonna work real well. So I have this here. Um, you may not wanna hear it, but if you're interested, grab yourself some Cheez-Its. Let's go. I'm not calling anyone out, by the way. Um, I don't think I even used any curse words in this. So if I can just not curse for the rest of the video, I can call it family friendly, which is pretty funny. Um, but here we go. I wrote this today, believe it or not. Uh, I spent most of the day just putting this together, making sure I worded everything right. Um, I'm not gonna say anything I'm gonna regret. Uh, here we go. I shouldn't cover my true feelings in YouTube videos, but now that I'm better, I can summarize my miserable time on the internet. My name is Ty Savage. I've been running the Springs Insanity YouTube channel for the last four years. During that time, a lot of you may have seen me as an upbeat Nerf enthusiast with a lot of mechanical knowledge and financial irresponsibility. I'm sure that you know. If you never caught any of my live streams of my mental breakdowns in 2021 to 2023, you haven't seen my real frustration with trying to fit in with the community. When I started interacting with my audience in late 2020, they were excited to talk to me and had a lot of questions to be answered, which I happily did. I gained a relatively high standing within six months, it's pretty fast, and even had my own Discord called the Smurfs Closet that was hyped up before its release to the public. But once I got too comfortable, my wide span of emotions started to show and it made everyone a little uneasy. They were mostly happy emotions because of how well I was doing, but when I got mad, it became a war zone. I'll only say the first time this happened was when something got blamed on me I wasn't even responsible for. I do regret a lot of my overreactions, though some of them were justified, which I still believe to this day. A lot of my outbursts were with people in the hobby that refused to take time to understand me or didn't like me because I was younger than them, therefore I appeared inferior, so they didn't like when I showed off my hard work. Seriously, I'm not going to say who this was, I really want to, but someone said ew to my 3D printed crossbow mod. This gave me so much distaste for the nerf community, it made modding and collecting blasters undesirable, so I started phasing it out and trying other hobbies, one of which is under what I'm sitting on. I have one of the plastic shelves like this, and I've gone through multiple chairs. I had a regular um, swivel chair, and then I had a weight bench, which I've since folded up over there. Now I have a plastic shelf, and I have a blanket over it because I do not want the contents of what's in here to ever be shown on camera. All right, anyway, anyone I still got along with got out of Nerf as well, so we started talking about everything until it eventually became boring. That's when more fights broke out, with me being the target or instigator in a lot of them. The last time I had any sort of argument with anyone was months ago and was rather mild. Since then, I've gotten a great therapist and improved myself by winning back a lot of the people that I wronged in some way, some of which I didn't quite understand. But only a month ago, a few of them came forward with essays on what a failure I was, and even went as far as pasting them in the Smurfs closet. So I deleted that server, which I should have done years ago. After the first year, it lost its shine. If any of what I said sounds incorrect and someone has told you a different story, please don't tell me. They're lying, or they probably weren't even there. So my time interacting with my audience is over. The one instance where I tried it on here, on YouTube, 
was an instant success until people started cheating and ruined it for everybody. Over the last few weeks, without talking to anyone online, I've started becoming emotionless, in a good way, and just doing my weekly routine. After noticing that, I started to miss the energy in my Nerf videos, with the most popular series being Nerf Hunt. So I'm bringing it back under a different name. It's called Nerf Hunt Returns. They have recycled the old one a bit. Over the last seven months, I've accumulated a boatload. Over here, just to my left, I have a big cardboard box. I mean, this, this is the type of box size people use for moving their stuff in and out of houses. And then I have the biggest tote. I got these three big totes. I think they're 80 gallons. Um, but it's so big, I could probably fit inside it and put the lid on. It's like a coffin, and that is full. And then I have a decent sized laundry basket full of blasters. I have another big cardboard box, uh, and then a smaller one on top of that. And that's seven months worth. So this is enough blasters to make three episodes, which should be plenty for now. My most beloved series coming back is a huge indication that I don't plan on leaving YouTube. It's where I started and where I should have stayed.